This metal point drawing, entitled Right Side Study of a Juvenile and Adult Sandhill Crane, has a rather lengthy name, but that is for a very good reason. During my field studies, I typically create dozens of drawings of a particular animal, often over the course of several days. Rather than assigning random names to these drawings, such as crane drawing number one through crane drawing number 40, I adopted the naming convention used by major museums to title old master drawings using descriptions that distinguish drawings from each other. Traditional metal point drawing materials, which included pointed styluses cast from gold, silver, and bronze, along with the important abrasive coating needed to prepare the surface of paper or parchment, are ideal for drawing in the back country. The lines and marks of the drawing are tiny particles of metal shorn from the tip of the stylus, which become wedged so tightly between the abrasive particles of the drawing's prepared surface that they cannot be easily erased and do not smear. This traditional, fine-pointed stylus drawing technique evolved over centuries into a complex visual vocabulary of curved and straight parallel hatching lines to create lighter and darker tones and to describe the fall of light on three-dimensional planes. In October of 2006, I gave a lecture at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. on traditional 11th to 17th century metal point drawing materials and techniques. At the end of the lecture, the National Gallery's director tasked the gallery's curators, conservators, and scientists to create an exhibition solely devoted to metal point drawings. The scholarly research and complex logistics that took many years, during which I worked as a consultant and gave additional lectures at the National Gallery. The resulting exhibition was entitled Drawing in Silver and Gold, Leonardo to Jasper Johns, which opened at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. in the spring of 2015 and then traveled to the British Museum for exhibition later that fall.